Hello, I'm Nan Simonson and I'm about to make a, I can call it a holiday pumpkin pie, but it's actually an anytime pumpkin or sweet potato pie. I am dressed for my last physical therapy appointment. I ran a 10K at the end of October uh, to celebrate the fact that I could. I had decided three months before having never run that I was gonna do that. Why am I even bringing that up? Well, because I have my last physical therapy appointment an entire month earlier than they thought I would be able to call it quits because the knee that was hurting that I didn't wreck in the running, but I wrecked in another way, is now working beautifully and I have my next 10K coming up on January 8th, the day before I turn 71, yahoo! So I have a little time this afternoon and I wanna show you what I'm doing here. This is a new attachment for the KitchenAid. That over here is the blender portion that I'm going to whir together the pie. We're gonna do this video, I'm gonna do the crust first and then come back after my appointment actually and do the rest of the pie because I need to get the crust baked briefly. Okay, but this is a very cool device. Um, it is a food processor for the KitchenAid, but it's got to be this particular kind of KitchenAid. You can look that up under KitchenAid. And what we're doing is we're going to do a, a um, pecan oatmeal crust. Now, oats I'm crazy about. As a matter of fact, I thought I would show you the oats I've just cooled off after having done them in the Instapot oat groats, two cups, three cups of boiling water, five minutes in the Instapot, you walk away for two hours, and this is what you get. And oh, I just love these for breakfast. I'll mix them with rice. I'll use them instead of rice because they don't have the arsenic rice has. And be watching for this. These are, excuse me, pumpkin muffin and cookies. And so this is the season to use pumpkin, but we could also use sweet potatoes as well. And be watching for that in a couple of weeks. This is um, October, sorry, November 29th. In a couple of weeks, I will be posting this recipe as well. And I did that for Thanksgiving just a few days ago, and now they're in the freezer. And they will act as a quick breakfast, quick snack, quick dessert. They are nothing but oats and dates. If you read my book, Aging Powerfully, you'll know that as a lifestyle medical health coach, I encourage what lifestyle medicine promotes, which is one of our four pillars being a whole food plant-based or plant-centered diet. If you can't go there, at least keep throwing in plants into your diet seeds and nuts and grains and legumes, greens, cruciferous vegetables, all vegetables, all fruits. And um, the more of the latter that you can get in, the healthier you'll be. That's the way it is. Why am I bringing that up? <laughs> because I am sold on a plant-based diet. And here's a book I am in love with the plant-based athlete because I've discovered that I love running and I want to continue to run as I get older and older. And this book is a compilation of 60 interviews with internationally renowned plant-based athletes. And one of the things they say, and that's why I'm finally getting to my point, is that on a plant-based diet, the more antioxidants, phytonutrients, phytochemicals, um, uh, um, healing and immune um, boosting plants that you eat in your diet because it feeds your microbiome, your microbiome feeds your entire system with short chain fatty acids, won't go into all of that, the healthier you're going to be. And the most important part is the quicker your recovery. Every one of those athletes say the same thing. When I went plant-based, I recovered from all my workouts, all my races, all my endurance uh, programs much faster, and I found the same thing with my knees. So, go plants. What are we doing here? Whole food, plant-based pumpkin pie. No butter, no sugar, no cream. 
everything is whole food. So I'm starting with whole food oats. These are oats and some cinnamon and I'm gonna to add to them some dates that I chopped up. And let me tell you a little about dates. The dates you can buy either pitted, I got these and I like organic. I got these from Trader Joe's and they are pitted medjool dates. The medjool are the plumpest, sweetest, more most, most uh, sweet, um, sorry, most, um, oh, never mind, I was just gonna say something, I'll say it in a minute. Um, biggest, plumpest, sweetest, most moist of the commercial dates. You can get Niglet Noir, which is a smaller, denser date. Um, I use these from Trader Joe's whenever I can, but I like a good value. And at um, Costco, you can buy a pound of dates for a very, I think it's maybe two pounds, for a very good price. They come with seeds though. And these were the rest of the end of my con the collection of, well, container of dates from Costco. So it has a seed in it and sometimes it has its stem end. I counted the seven dates that it took to make four and a half ounces that the recipe calls for. And then I chopped up those dates and I counted the seeds because I made the mistake of thinking I got all the um, seeds, had one get stuck in the blender, the food processor, and it can really wreak havoc. So I'm gonna put that back in there. All right, so I have dates, I have um, oats, and then I have pecans, oh boy, oh boy, all whole foods. So is this fat free? No, I just don't add additional fat or oils and certainly not things like butter or shortening, um, whole foods. I'm going to pulse this, it's gonna be noisy and I'm sorry. blended result and I now I'm going to open this up yeah this looks great and add some plant milk and whenever I use a plant milk I tend to use soy I like this one again from Trader Joe's because there's nothing in it but organic and I use organic as often as I can soybeans nothing else none of the guar gums never ever get the carrageenan gum that is shown to be a carcinogen and you don't need that, it's a emulsifier. And there are other emulsifiers like water gum and xanthan gum, which aren't great for your microbiome, but they're not as bad as carrageenan. And now I'm trying to turn this thing into a ball. I may have to add a little bit more milk if it doesn't form. <laughs> shake the milk because it's not emulsified so some uh, so we want to mix it better or well let's see what and this was just a, a, a tablespoon or two so I'm not using it all right. now I believe I'm getting what I'm looking for yes which is what I really want is it to be like a little bit of like a ball. I'm going to add the tiniest bit more. Okay. And that will be it. Okay, that'll do it. Take the cover off. Put it here push this little lever and it comes right off and the base just sat on there. And I'm gonna put this all out of the way, put the other base on. That's what we'll be working on, on a little bit later. Okay, now, parchment paper, when you're whole food plant-based and you don't oil things, it's handy to have parchment paper. Things don't stick to it. And I get this brand at, it's Kirkland at um, Costco for a very good price. Sometimes you'll find parchment page, uh, paper 
at like health stores and you get a tiny roll, maybe 25 feet for a lot of money, $5, $4, maybe something like that. It doesn't seem like a lot, but if you can get this for whatever it was, I don't know how much, it wasn't bad. And this is 205 feet. I'll take that one. Okay, so I'm gonna get my blade out of there, just lift it out. And I'm making a pie crust here. So what I did is, I, you can barely see it, I drew a circle. Oh, I don't think you can see that. What I did is I took the pie pan, put it down, and angled a pencil and drew a circle so that I could, well, get a consistent shape, the shape that I wanted, um, I'd be round. And I'm gonna put this here, because I'm gonna put that on top, turn it out, I had washed my hands well, Turn it out, make a bowl, warm it. Oh, it smells so good. Can you see? Yes, you can see. All right, press it. See, it's helpful to have the circle shape there because I can shape and aim for a circular shape. Now, I'm going to roll it to get it nice and thin. So what is this crust? I'm calling it a cookie crust. And you know where I got this recipe? The McDougal's. This is Mary McDougal's sweet potato pie that you can use pumpkin as a substitute for, which is what I've done. We made it. I made it at Thanksgiving and it was such a hit that I wanted to show you a great way to help a healthy pie. Excuse me, I'm gonna grab my rolling pin and I'm gonna exaggerate the size. I'm gonna go well beyond the circle, but at least I know where the circle is. Now, how am I gonna get this crust that doesn't have lard, doesn't have added fat, it's kind of a crumbly thing, into that pie pan. I wondered that the first time I made it. You'll see. All right, lift this up and it doesn't have gluten built up because this isn't a flour, this is a grain and so it's not going to stick the way gluten would. I'm just pressing together using the moisture of the dates and that milk. And why do I use soy milk? Well, because it has protein. It has some additional protein to add to the mix. And we get a lot of protein from, well, we get all the protein we need from our plant-based diet. But if I can add a cup of soy milk to something with nine grams of protein in that cup, which is identical to what cow's milk has, and it's a complete protein, why not? That's my little oven. I have a Breville Smart Air oven that I love. I could use my regular oven, but I'm going to do this right now. You know what I do from time to time, and if you haven't seen me do it, <laughs> I want you to see it. Uh, let's see, oven light. Can you see my oven? Oh no, you can't. I'm gonna turn this. Can you see how shiny and clean that is? I've had that oven for, is it two years now? Maybe two years. And why is it shiny and clean? Because I'm not doing fatty things that spew their fat all over it. Um, it's easy to keep an oven clean when you're not cooking spattery things. All right, I think that's perfect. Now, I'm using a larger pie pan than the recipe called for. And um, why? Because it's the one I have. It calls for an eight inch pie pan, which means that the pie would be deeper. And 
the reduced volume, of course, means that what we put in it is going to be deeper. But I don't care. I used this for Thanksgiving, and actually it was really nice. We didn't need a deeper one. I'm not doing this time. Oh my gosh, I have to leave soon. So, let me show you how to do this. I may bake it later. I'm going to lay this over it. I'm going to put my hand up in it and kind of encourage this to go into the, I'll call it the void. I'm, it's breaking apart. Okay, let me turn this over. Ah, this is more fragile than it was last time. Well, I'll show you how I fix it. Okay, whatever I lost, oh, that's fine. All right. Whatever I lost, I can piece together. Can you see all of this? Yeah because it just presses together. It has the stickiness of the dates, the moisture of that little bit of milk and the date. And I'm simply pressing it. So when we eat this pie, the crust is a bit of a cookie in that it's crunchy, it's oaky, it's sweet from the dates. It has fat from the pecan and flavor from the pecan. And if you're worrying about what I'm doing right now, I very carefully cleaned the counter with a newly washed cloth. So we're fine. All right, I'm done. So I'm going to turn off the oven because I'm not going to use it. I have to be out of here in, you know what? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. They are three minutes down the road from me. And I'm going to cover it with foil. Put it in the oven for 10 minutes. To toast it and cook it a little. All right, 375, 10 minutes. When I come back on, I will show you how we're going to fill it, bake it, and make a beautiful pie. I just got back, and the crust is ready to fill, and I'm about to make the filling, get it in my uh, oven, and um, have it bake and cool enough to be able to serve for dinner tonight. Da, 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 da. I got back from my um, physical therapy appointment and I am just pumped because they said my knee is in great shape. They didn't expect it. I'm going to run my run and they gave me some ideas and some training as to how to build speed as well as distance for the January 8th. 10k that's 6.2 miles and um, I did that distance in October and even with a hurt knee even with physical therapy for a hurt knee that had nothing to do with the running um, I, I attribute the plant-based diet to that and our recovery because of the antioxidants and all so let's get on the pie you're probably thinking man enough I have in this um, and it's, I've been calling it a KitchenAid. It's not, it's a Vitamix. And you knew that you were probably yelling at the screen, man, that's a Vitamix. Um, so in my Vitamix blender, I moved away the food processing uh, apparatus. And this is the blender. I have plant milk, I use soy milk because might as well add protein to this uh, whole food plant-based dessert. And I have dates in it. And I have vanilla extract. I could have used vanilla powder that has a fabulous flavor. And I'm adding to that mace, ginger, cinnamon. In other words, like an apple pie filling or a pumpkin pie filling. Let me make sure I've got all of that um, correct. Yes, putting it in. And I'm going to put in pumpkin pie filling, blend it, and add, just a moment, uh, let's see, yeah, all right, 
After I blend it, I'm going to add the a little bit of what's going to make this thick because you may be thinking, wait a minute, I've made pumpkin or sweet potato pie and you have to have something to thicken it. You'll see. All right, turn it on and get it going. date soaking in here for quite a while. Um, 15 minutes would be all right, but I had them soaking for well over an hour and I'm glad because they sort of dissolved more quickly um, and better uh, than they did the other day when I only did them for 15 minutes. And I'm adding the magic ingredient, a third of a cup of oat flour. What is oat flour? Well, let me tell you what my oat flour is. I go to my container similar to this that says rolled oats. I pull out the rolled oats, a third of a cup, a half of a cup, blend it in the Vitamix, and I end up with oat flour. Now, if you buy it at the store, it's going to be more finely milled. This still has some little bits in it um, because I didn't blend it as long as I could have. And I like those little bits. You may see what I mean if you do the same thing with your pie. Those little bits you'll find add a interesting kind of a, I want to say chewiness, but that's not the right description. You'll just sort of have just, it's almost as if you have little um, bits of nut or seed in there. Okay, I'm going to blend this to finish it and then we're gonna put it in the pie, decorate the pie, get this thing in the oven. I want pumpkin pie for dessert. We're doing a, I'm doing a um, cream corn soup that's marvelous, and of course there's no cream, and a roasted cauliflower wings, meaning the cauliflower is roasted with a coating of chickpea flour and soy milk, so it's protein and a really high protein uh, uh, legume. And then there's sriracha put over it, tossed, and then again back in the air fryer, so they're crispy and they're fabulous. I'm gonna be doing a video of them uh, when I make them the next time, because they are worth making. And then uh, we'll have a tomato salad, and that'll be a great meal. See, plant-based can be really good and varied. you don't want to do too often because you can end up with a face full of something <laughs> especially when you put it a little higher and it can kind of jump at you okay here's this beautiful crust you saw me put together look at that lots of texture and our dessert after that terrific meal whole food multiple vegetable meal will be some pumpkin and um, we don't have big slices but It'll be a lot of fun to have this. And we have a soy ice cream that we had for three months, never touched it. Now, unfortunately, and this is why I don't do desserts all the time. I'm doing this dessert again. We weren't gonna, I wasn't gonna do it. My husband says, don't do that. <laughs> and I thought, I don't wanna do that. Because while the pie is in the house, all I think about is Ooh, I'm gonna get pie at the next meal. 
I don't want to like something that much. And the only reason it's so delectable is that we love sweet things. We're made um, to love sweet things. But at least this is a whole food sweet thing. This isn't a processed sugar. This is sweetness from the dates that will give it its, and the, the spices give it a wonderful, and they're nutritious by the way, a wonderful flavor. Um, that oat flour will give it a really nice, rich custardy, but thick custardy consistency. I should just stop now, but I just wanted every bit I could get out of it. Okay. All right. Done, man, stop. See, I hate wasting anything. Okay, one last, one last, one last tablespoon there. All right, spread it. And as I said, if this were an eight inch crust, and if you don't wanna do a crust, you can buy crusts. Um, you're seldom going to get a crust that is a whole food crust. It's going to be flour, and it's going to be flour and sugar and fat. Um, but Trader Joe's has a gluten-free, um, gluten-free vegan crust. I looked at it today. I almost bought it, and I thought, I'll show you how easy this can be, and it can be that much easier. But when I looked at the ingredients, it's rice flour, tapioca starch, I think it says maybe canola oil. I, I just couldn't do it. Um, I don't consider those, they're certainly not whole foods, and I don't, I don't consider them healthy. And why do it? Why well, have something that goes in you that doesn't serve you well. Now I'm putting pecans around the edge for decoration. I just bought a bag of pecans, pecan halves, and they fib a little because there were a lot of other pieces that weren't halves, but that's okay. And I hope I have enough. If I don't, I have the rest of the bag. Oh, 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 there we go. The oven is on at 375. And I'm going to bake it. I'm not going to add to the video. Bake it take it out, photograph it, add that to the end of the video. And you'll see how pretty the pie looks whole and sliced. Look at that. And then I have some chopped pecans. If I put whole pecans in the middle, it's too hard to, to work with them when you're trying to slice into the middle. So I'm going to try to center this and I have some chopped pecans that I'm going to put in the middle with just a few of them scattered around. Okay, there we go. A couple more, a couple more, there and there. Take that off. There's my center of chopped pecans. I'm gonna push them in a little bit. And look, isn't that a beauty? It'll look a lot like this when I'm finished. <laughs> All right, 30 minutes. And then I'll test it. Oops, 375, 30 minutes. I'll test it, and there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day because I know I'm going to.